Hi, I am Dee DeWinter. I'm the Director of HR Global Operations here at Ignite, and I wanted to showcase how we here in HR at Ignite utilize our product to make our job easy and simple and secure. If you can see my screen, this is a demo environment, so everything here is completely fine for sharing, but I'm gonna navigate down to my Human Resources tab. Here we have a lot of different things that we can share with employees or that we can load or that we can securely store from employees as well that are just for the HR team. So one of the things that I wanted to utilize is I can easily make new folders. I can just go to new, hit a folder, name it, create it, and it pulls right up. I can also really, really easily um, create things. So I say I want to do an offer letter. So I'm going to go down to onboarding. I'm going to go down to 2019. Q4. So we're, we're thinking this is December 2019. And then I'm going to go to Richa. So if I look in her, you know, file, there is a folder for offer letters. But there's nothing here. So I need to draft something. So if I've already drafted something somewhere else, I can just drag and drop it in here. Otherwise, I can easily hit new, pick a product. I'm just going to do Microsoft Word Online because it's simple. Name it. And as it pulls up, I can say, Dear Misha, offer letter XYZ. You can see it auto saves to the product. Then I can close it. And I can see it's here. Now, if I look, oh, I misspelled her name. Need to change it around. So I can just click on it, hit rename. rename and it's there. I can also change it inside by hitting co-edit. It'll open it right back up. And then of course I have all of the information I need. Once it's saved, I can close it back down. Now, if I don't have a product for approving offer letters already, I can easily use the Ignite product. I just have to click on the box next to what I want to do. Go to workflows, start a new workflow. I can name it, reach. Uh, so we are going to do an approval because we don't need anyone to actually fill anything in at this point. We should have completed that by now. We can say, please approve. Don't need to add a description. I can assign it to somebody and then I can give them a due date. I can actually do this for several different people. So I can assign this to three or four different people if we need to go up the chain. So say it needs to go to the executive budget holder and then it needs to go to um, one of the C levels above them. We can just send it right up through, have all of them approve and have it all come back. The nice thing is once it's complete, I'll be able to see any comments they made. I'll be able to see where it is in the workflow as it goes through the pieces. I can also see the details of what's happening and where it is and what's going on. Also, when it's completed and everything has been uh, approved through, it will auto save a draft in the workflow itself of what was approved. So if I ever go back into the file, happen to click on it, edit it, maybe add in a date because it wasn't there before. But of course, this isn't a version that was approved. So I'm just going to make a change. So December 10, 2019. And then it's auto-saving it. 
So I've now made this change post approval, which of course you never want to have happen. You don't want to have something that hasn't been approved going out. The nice thing is the workflow will still be there. If I go to the workflow itself, it'll have the originally approved version. So I know this is not the actual one I can send out. I can only send out the other one. And then of course, if I did make a change that does need to go through the approval, I can start the workflow process, workflow process all over again. So that makes my life much easier and it's extremely secure. Once I'm finished and I know I have the finalized draft, what I can do then is I can click here and I can actually send it via DocuSign. I can send it through Share. If we had DocuSign plugged in, it would be an option here. And then I can just simply send it through and send it to the um, person that needs to co-sign it and the candidate itself. Now, the nice thing is once it's completed, since I sent it from this folder, it'll auto file right back in with all the signatures done. So no extra work on my part. So that is how Ignite product makes HR much easier to utilize for processes. And of course, for security, if I'm trying to figure out who else I need to share this with, I can just go into share, manage folder permissions, and I can see who's currently able to see it. I can also see what they can do. And of course, we know that the administrators of the product itself are only key IT people and maybe one or two other governance people. So they should be allowed to see everything anyway for the products that they're managing and be trusted resources. So I can figure that out here. Because I'm not an owner, I can't modify who can own it, but I can go to one of the administrators to do the modification for me if I need to share this with anyone else. But it'll show me who's seeing what, and the product will even show me when it was accessed. With added governance, I can also see who's been accessing the files and when they've been accessing the files. So all of this makes it very, very secure. So that is why Ignite product makes HR much easier. If you have any questions, please reach out to our sales team. They'll be happy to answer anything you may need. Thank you.